Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. Today we're going to take a look at a few more models from Rocket Pig Games. In the past we did a couple reviews on some of their models. We tried printing them with our resin printer, but I know my brother has access to a FDM printer and I thought, you know what, why don't we give these guys a good and proper try at what they're supposed to be used with in the correct medium and so we figured we would show you guys our results warts and all now for the most part everything went according to plan everything came out nice and neat so this was our first attempt and i know the lighting is really hard to make out the details on this this is i want to say it was one of their clockwork defenders and as always we printed this at a hundred percent regular resolution i'm just going to try to lighten it up a bit i am going to prime this so you guys can get a better look at it but nice solid one piece nothing else to do it's just plug in the files and give it a print and that's what you get if you're curious how big it is we can put a human model to scale and i'm looking for one of the humans from rocket pig that i've printed i don't know where i put them now but you know what that wasn't big enough that wasn't big enough at all so we started playing around and trying some more and i told my brother you know we've got the files why don't we see what we can do and try printing some of the bigger stuff so we did we got this sucker printed now this was called a tripo hob i believe and he is covered with holes all over his body and believe it or not as big as this looks this actually isn't even full size this was printed at 70 percent so just to give you a good size indicator there and then we thought you know what this still isn't big enough so we printed up another one and this is also, I have to say, is a multi-part kit. There are a little bit of connectors and some spots that needed to be glued on, like the arms. But for the most part, it's pretty simple, straightforward. So we thought we'd try a more complex one. And I don't even know if I could fit him on the screen. This is the long gullet. And this is the kind of model that Rocket Pick makes that I absolutely love. This thing is just crazy bizarre. It's got six legs. It's got four four little forelimbs, it's got this three-pronged mouth going on, and I know it's really difficult to see at the moment, so again, I'm going to get this stuff all primed up so you guys can get a nice long look at it, and we'll grab a couple of the other models that we've printed as well. But then I saw something even cooler, and I'm like, we should totally try printing one of these, and then that's where we ran into issues. So we saw their newest Ice Hydra, and I know my brother gave it a shot, and I figured I told him to save this one. Don't glue it all together yet. Let me show everybody what kind of big chunks they have. So you can see here he actually has the connector piece spot on both the front and the back. And he's actually in three pieces. So we've got the legs, the tails, and then we've got the whole front. And the funny thing is, I don't know what was going on, and my brother's not even sure, but he was having all kinds of issues trying to get this thing to print. So it's definitely going to need some cleanup, which is unfortunate because, you know, look at this guy. There's really not a whole lot of cleanup involved. There was a little bit, a little bit with the triple hob guy as well. But this one's going to need a little bit more work. And it's going to be hard to really see a lot of that detail as well with it in its current state so you can see like just all that kind of stringing and going along and since this is plastic it's going to need to really be cut up and cleaned so i'm going to grab these guys i'm going to get everything all cleaned up i'm going to get everything all primed up and then we'll see just how they turn out so sit tight okay so we went ahead and tried priming up our big old monsters here in, uh, I don't know. I am less than enthusiastic with the results from the FDM printer compared to what I was able to get done with my resin printer. So here we have our Met Golem, and you can see the detail is pretty apparent. And I don't know if it's just a poor priming job on my end, but I mean, you can really see like all those layer lines on it in the front i'm just like eh, a bit bummed out not to say that it came out poorly i don't know if it's just the printer itself the overall detail is there and i think from a distance 
it's going to look fine. I think especially once we get some paint on it, I think that'll be the ultimate judge of how it turns out. Maybe this guy just had a little bit too much detail going on. So our trip to hob. I think this guy, other than the fact that I probably should go in and either put some green stuff or some of that putty, like Tamiya putty, I think that'll probably help significantly. But overall with this guy, even though you can see those layer lines on him, I think once he's got paint on it, and your focus is more on all his Swiss cheese holes all over his body, I think it's going to become a pretty nice looking kit. And then there's our long gullet. I love this thing. This thing is just bonkers. That face, the arms, the spikes, there's just a lot going on with this. And again, I think once we put some putty in there, that's really going to help a lot with the obvious spots where it was put together. I've already had some suggestions on how to paint that. These are going to be fun. And then there's this crazy Hydra. Um, I tried, I really truly tried getting this thing cleaned up. You guys saw what a mess it was before. And it still is a mess. I think it's just something of a learning curve we're going to have to play around with. But despite that, I think from a distance especially, it looks pretty decent. I think it's when you get up close that you really start to see some of those issues. And I mean, I know that you can really get some serious, solid results on an FDM printer. This is not resin. This is an FDM print. And I mean, it's it's pretty dang nice. This is from Antimatter Games, one of their Kickstarters. So, I know it's possible, it's just I think it's going to take us some playing around and getting those settings dialed in. And again, a nice bit of putty or green stuff to wrap things up. And honestly, I think once it's given a good coat of paint, these things are really going to be quite the showstoppers on the tabletop. And we're going to have some big major battles with this stuff. In case you're curious, here's a Frostgrave character and our perennial... Witch Hunter and Space Marine friends. So you can see these models have some definite size and weight to them. Funny enough, they actually feel like they weigh more than the resin guys. So this is the Green Fiend. I've shown him off before. And I gotta say, initially I was kind of bummed out when I started painting these guys. But in the end, I was quite happy with how they turned out. He's just got a nice heft to him. Came out really cool. And I think I might have shrunk him down. I don't know. And then I have the Hecatonkeries here, also from Rocket Pig. And again, I felt like at first I was a little dismayed with how he turned out, but once I started painting him, I had a blast, and I'm thinking that once I've got their big FDM brothers here done up as well, I think I'm going to be pretty pleased with the results. So... Definitely take a look at Rocket Pig Games if you haven't ever before. They have a very wild and varied catalog of monsters. And they do run quite a few Kickstarters as the years go on. So there's always a good chance that something from one of their campaigns that strikes your fancy, if you don't feel like backing the whole thing, is going to end up in their store, or, you know, there might be a new campaign that's full of all kinds of interesting stuff that you wish to take a look at. So we'll put a link down below, and hopefully you'll see something that strikes your fancy. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.